not inherit the kingdom of God. He says, be not deceived, neither fornicators. Y'all hear that? All fornicators, idolaters. Y'all hear that? Who who worship something other than God. Idolatrous, adulterous, y'all hear that? Amen. Folk who stepping outside the marriage, yeah. amen. Yeah. No infeminate. Yeah. The word infeminate describes homosexuality yeah. and lesbianism. Yeah. Y'all hear that? In this particular passage, he shows us that it's not just the fornicators. It's not just the idolatrous. It's not just the adulterers. But it's also the effeminates. It's also the abusers of themselves with mankind. Also the thieves. Also the covetous. Also the drunkards. Also the revilers. Also the extortioners. He said they shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now for those who say we can't help it, look at verse number 12, number 11. Paul says, and such were some of you. Right, sir. Such were some of you. Some of you used to be fornicators. Some of you used to be idolatrous. Some of you used to be infinite. Literally, some of them to the very folk that Paul was talking to, some of them used to be homosexuals. Some of them used to be lesbians. But Paul said, but now something has changed your life and it's the fact that you've been baptized into Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus can help you overcome that particular issue of your flesh. No such thing as I can't help you. God sees it as something unnatural. Yeah. Romans chapter 1, Romans chapter 1. Began at verse number 21. Romans chapter 1. Began at verse number 21. I'm going to show you how a man leads himself into homosexuality. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how a woman leads herself into lesbianism. Romans chapter 1, beginning at verse number 21, the Bible says, Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were they faithful. They became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. It's a dangerous thing to take that which God says is wrong. And convince yourself that it's all right. Uh -huh. It's a dangerous thing to flirt with sin to the degree that it no longer pricks and convicts your conscience. It's a dangerous thing to turn a deaf ear to the truth of God because the Bible says what started to happen with these people is that when they knew God, they refused to glorify him as God. And because of that, they became foolish and their hearts became darker. Right. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Mm -hmm. hmm. Change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image. So whenever an individual is starting to travel down that road of homosexuality. They have to change the image of God yes. into something other than what he really is. Mm -hmm. God says, I am holy. God informs us that he is reverent. Mm -hmm. Holy. That reverent is his name. He teaches us that he's pure. Teaches us that he's perfect. And so if you're going to commit an act before all holy and reverend God without your conscience bothering you, you've got to change the image. Yes. 
yes, of God into something less than God. Amen. Notice the Bible says they change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, to birds, to four-footed beasts and creeping things. When they put the knowledge of God out of their heart, mm -hmm. God gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies mm -hmm. between themselves. Mm -hmm. Whenever you engage in that kind of activity, God says you're dishonoring your own you are bringing damnable shame to your own body. Mm -hmm. You are doing things with your own body that God never originated, never, never sanctioned or never ordained you to do with that body. Yes. God gave you that body for his glory. Amen. And when you use it in this manner, he says you are dishonoring your Glory, the glory of your own body. For this cause God gave them up, verse 26. Unto vile affection. Why did you do that, Lord? For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Whenever you see two women holding hands, and kissing and carrying on like their husband and wife. The Bible says that kind of activity is against nature. Amen. Not natural for a woman to be in love with another woman. Amen. And natural for her to lust after another woman's beauty. Don't you realize, my sister, that God has created for man, with all of the biological propensities <laughs> that you ever need to be fulfilled. I know, I know we live in a time where men are just as corrupt as they can be. Yes, sir. I know that. Mm -hmm. And I know because of his doggish, they say, nature, <laughs> that he'll go out. And treat you like you're less than nothing. Break your heart. Step all over in and, and do all of that. And because you've gone through heartbreak after heartbreak. Because you've gone through one bad abusive relationship after another. That many of you have taken the mindset I'm through with me. <laughs> I realize. Sometimes that's the case. But it ain't right. Just because you messed. With a lot of bad men. It doesn't mean that not any good men out here. It doesn't mean that God ain't got a ram in the thicket somewhere. Just looking for a good man. A woman who ain't timid and dabbling in this and the other. Looking for a woman who knows how to behave herself like a woman. I realize that because of some tragic circumstances. Some women have turned away from me and I've talked to them. I've asked them what happened to you. And they've told me some horrible stories. Mm. And, and my heart burned within me. Because I realized because of the hurt, because of the damage that this dude did, she can never see things the way they need to be seen. Try to convince her. And this was unnatural. This is just a tool of the enemy Amen. to keep you tied down into something that God ain't going to never bless. Mm. And I've seen that come to pass. Some of the worst fights I ever seen in my life was from one woman fighting over another woman. Mm. Some of the most brutal battles some of the most bloodiest mess I've ever witnessed with my own two eyes was because a woman was defending what she called hers. And it was another woman. She'll fight to the death 
because I'm going to miss 